What's up guys? GH here. A friend of mine told me that we can vote on the Game Awards of 2020 and immediately I told him, Dude, that awards is fixed. They already have a winner. <laughs> no matter what you do, which who you vote, the organizers of the game decide who wins. Just treat the awards like an entertainment. Anyway, all that said, let's vote. Let's do this. Okay guys, let's go vote. Go vote now. It's loading. Sign in to vote. Game of the year. Game of the year? Directly? Uh, okay, I'm gonna sign in guys. Okay guys, I'm signed in. So, <laughs> let's go to the bottom. I don't... Let's do this. The last game of the year. And what's this? Best esports team. I don't... I don't follow esports. Who are we gonna vote, guys? <laughs> Probably these guys. They put an effort on posting. Yeah, we're gonna vote for them. Vote now. Okay. Uh, what's this? Thank you for casting your vote. You earned a stu badge, student. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. The next is best esports host. I don't know. I don't even know these guys. <laughs> How about uh? Let's vote for this guy, the Alex Golden Boy Mendez. <laughs> What's this? Game Awards or what? Best esports game. Okay. The first one we have here is Call of Duty, then Counter Strike, Fortnite, League of Legends, then Valorant. Okay, my prediction here is Fortnite is gonna win. Yep. And I'm gonna vote for. Valorant <laughs> But Fortnite is gonna win here for sure Best esports event What? I don't know this How about this guy? He seems to be having fun <laughs> Best esports coach what? Why is it like this? Okay, uh, how about uh, this guy? He looks like a good coach <laughs> Oh, come on best esports athlete uh, this kid looks like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Let's vote for Mr. Kim. <laughs> then best debut game. Okay, here it goes. The games. Phasmophobia. Roki. Raji. Carrion, of course. It's Mortal Shell. This is a good game. This is like a Dark Souls game. Oh, come on. What is this? Content creator of the year. Uh, okay. Oh, Team the Tapman is here. We're gonna vote for Team the Tapman. <laughs> Best multiplayer. Okay, here we go. For sure, Among Us is gonna win this. But I think Animal Crossing should be the winner. <laughs> I had fun on this the most. So I'm gonna vote on Animal Crossing. <laughs> Best sports slash racing game. Ah, uh, uh, come on. I haven't played any racing or sports game in a while. So I'm gonna vote for Tony Hawk. <laughs> Oh, I'm a graduate now. Okay, whatever. Best sim strategy. What's... Okay, Crusader Kings, Desperados, Gears Tactics. Sim or strategy? What? This is not a strategy game. Of course. It's XCOM. But... Is, this is... This isn't a sim. This is a sim. This is a strategy. Uh, this is confusing. <laughs> this guy's... Best... Family, okay. Uh, for family, I'm gonna vote for Crash Bandicoot. Then best fighting. Oh, of course, it's Mortal Kombat. But let's check out the others. Grand Blue Fantasy. This is fun, guys. I played that. Street Fighter, also fun. One Punch Man. Yeah, this is also fun. All of them are fun. I don't know this. This one, Under Night in Bert. <laughs> But of course, I'm gonna vote for Mortal Kombat. This is a freaking awesome game. Best role playing. The first one is Final Fantasy VII Remake, then Genshin Impact, Persona 5 Royal, Wasteland, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. This is a fun game. But. Uh, okay, this is a tough one. I'm gonna vote for Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you guys are <laughs> wondering why I didn't vote Persona, it's because I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy. 
Next one we have here is Best Action Adventure. Oh, come on. Of course, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Of course. But for sure, the one that's gonna win is The Last of Us. This is the one that's gonna win. For sure. I'm 200% sure The Last of Us is the one that's gonna win. Best Action. Doom Eternal, of course. Uh, this is a nominee for me. <laughs> Hades, Half-Life Alex, Nio, Streets of Rage. It's Doom Eternal. <laughs> Innovation in accessibility. What? Recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward. Uh, it's definitely not Assassin's Creed. No. But that is the one that's gonna win or The Last of Us. This one is always gonna win even though it doesn't have a good gameplay. There's a lot of cinematics. It's decent. I don't, I don't think so. But this is the one that's gonna win. For sure. I don't know any of this. I don't want to vote to any of this. But I think Watchdog Legion at least should have a vote. Best VR AR. <laughs> For me, the only one that I tried here is the Iron Man, Star Wars Squadrons, and this The Walking Dead. And among those three, this is the one I like, Star Wars Squadron. I like this. Where I'm gonna vote this. Best community support. What? Community support. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive of social media activity. I don't know. Okay, let's vote for No Man's Sky. <laughs> I don't know that. Best mobile game. This is gonna win among us. A lot of people are playing this on mobile. Then Call of Duty Mobile. This here is another good one. Then Genshin Impact. Legends of Runeterra, Pokemon Cafe. <laughs> Why is that there? Okay, we're gonna vote for Among Us. Oh, what happened, guys? Oh, okay. Let's close that. Best Indie. Uh, Carry On, Fallout, Hades. Uh, it's it's Fall, guys. For sure. Best Ongoing. Best Ongoing. Okay. It's Apex. But the cheating is just getting out of hand. But I still like it. There are times that I get good games. But most of the time, it's all cheaters. Games for impact. <laughs> okay, uh, I found Kentucky, Spirit Fairer. Tell me why. I don't know this. Impact of what? I don't know. I hardly know any of this. I don't know any of this. I don't play this kind of games. How about tell me why? <laughs> the best performance. Awarded to an individual for voice over acting, motion, okay. The one that's gonna win here is The Last of Us. I don't wanna say it, but The Last of Us is the one that's gonna win here, but I don't agree. It should be anything else. <laughs> okay, let's just vote for Miles Morales. <laughs> that's a good game, by the way. Best audio design. This too is the only one I played and I, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I played this too. Oh yeah, Ojo Decide, do you mean the best music? If the best music it's Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal! <laughs> best score and mu- oh this is the- oh this is not the- Eh sure, Doom Eternal! <laughs> best score and music! Final Fantasy VII Remake Okay, I wanna vote for this Because I like it personally I like the Final Fantasy VII Remake music But the Doom Eternal is good The others this is a beautiful game, Ori. But this is about music. <laughs> Final Fantasy Remake. Best Art Direction. Best Art? It's Ori. I just said it. <laughs> Best Narrative. Okay, Story. Of course, it's Final Fantasy VII for me. <laughs> Best Game Direction. Final Fantasy VII for me. <laughs> Game of the year, it's Final Fantasy 7, of course. No question, bruh. If you're gonna ask me who I think is gonna win, it's The Last of Us. This this game award is rigged. They already have a winner. And the winner is The Last of Us. None of those these things, these are just fillers. The Last of Us is the overall winner of that game awards. For sure. I can guarantee you. 300% it's the last of us even though it's not really that good 
And that's it guys, my 2020 Game Awards. <laughs> and this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.